Hey guys, this is Hot Noob here, and I'm just going to play the intro clip here. Anyway, um, I got a request on my blog to show a bit about um, decompilers and so on. He also requested to show how to recompile everything. I'm not going to show how to recompile everything because I don't approve of people stealing other people's work. So um, first of all I'm going to start with .NET decompiling. So you need a program called Reflector. So, right? So reflector.redgates.com, whatever, download, whatever. You don't need to <coughs> download the trial, you can use um, an express version or the light version or whatever. <coughs> okay, there we are. So I'm just going to open it up here and uh, decompile something for you, and then I'll explain to you how it all works. So first of all, I'm just going to find a program or whatever. Um, let's see. Okay, I think this one is uh, Hello World or whatever. And this works on both release and debug versions. Right, so just um, disassemble or whatever. There you go, expand. There we go. So as you can see, you have a console, dot right line, hello world, press enter, and etc. Now I'm going to show you guys how this works. Um, I'm going to open up a program called IL Disassembler. It comes with um, Microsoft's Visual Studio Professional, and probably Ultimate or whatever the higher version is. So I'm just going to drag and drop this in here. And as you can see, the setup looks a bit similar. Now the difference is this is um, an MSIL disassembler. This only works for .NET based um, programs. Basically what it does, it reads the binary code and the binary is what um, are pretty much just little functions, right? It, um, that's how binary works. I won't explain it. If you want to know how this works in, um, you know, just go learn binary code or whatever, right? So um, pretty much what happens is some uh, byte or a byte with value of whatever um, represents LD string, which means load string, and this loads um, this text hello world into um, the stack, and then it calls the function here system console dot right or right line, <coughs> right? It sh shows up all here. I made myself my own uh, .NET decompiler as a learning project and. Um, as a tool for making a, a polymorphic <coughs> in a cryptor or obfuscator or whatever. So anyway, decompiles and you know this is what you get. This is also very similar with um, native coded uh, EXCs. You just use Ollie DBG and you get something that's pretty similar. Just gonna go here find one of my um, other ones. Look, project five. Right, drag and drop, same thing. And it uses pretty much the same uh, setup. There we go. Right. As you can see, the commands are pretty similar. Right. Got call. You'll recognize them. The binary values are completely different and so on. And the difference between native coded and MSIL is that um, with MSIL, 
the program is being compiled into another into native code from MSIL upon running it. And with native code, it's just being run right there, right off the bat. So that's pretty much your basics to decompiling. <coughs> Um, for recompiling, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but you pretty much just copy and paste the code and put it in right. Um, on the on the blog comments or whatever, got a comment. He also stated how he only knew how to do like Visual Basic or whatever um, and .NET or whatever. So I'm just going to show another one. This is a program called Flash Decompiler <coughs> Trulix. One sec. Anyway, this program is not free like um, Reflector. That's the only downside, so you're going to need to buy it or whatever, right? Crack it. It's actually pretty difficult to crack if you've ever tried. Right? So it's your whole images. <coughs> the thing you're probably looking for is the action script, right? And that's pretty much it. If you want to um, recompile it, just go to extract, extract SWF objects, etc. And then you just go to the. Um, the project uh, file or whatever, right? It's pretty plain and simple. The, um, the flash, op flash objects are a lot easier to recompile, although there are some obfuscation methods and some compatibility issues with um, the flash decompiler. So if you want to um, decompile um, new flash objects, like um, new flash games or whatever, you're going to need to get an up-to-date flash decompiler version. And I believe, I don't think that anyone's released a crack for um, Trillix for the, f uh, sorry, for the Flash Decompiler 5 for Trillix, which has the ability to decompile the latest um, Flash games and whatever. Um, wholly, like 100% decompiled. Um, the, f the Flash version 4 will only partially decompile it. And I'm not going to release my cracked version of the fifth version because that would be illegal. <coughs> anyway, this is Hot Noob. Um, come check out my blog if you have any questions. I could, I guess, um, go into more details about how decompiling works. But in uh, basic or like in short, it um, you know decompiles it, right? takes the binary code or whatever the data is in and then it puts it into the form that it was before it was decompiled. In. It's pretty much just reverse engineering. <coughs> it's not overly complex, you just need to know a lot about the, what you're trying to decompile and so on. Anyway, this is Hot Noob. Come check out my blog and I'll see you guys later.